which is some bonnet so. Um, I took my pattern out of this book, but this is Cruelty of A's book. Um, this is the pattern I've made already, and I'm going to show you what I did and give you hints and tips how to do yours. So my sunbonnet zoo is holding a kite. You can get your pattern from Laura at So So Easy. So if you're putting your browser on YouTube, So So Easy sunbonnet zoo, it'll take you straight to Laura's site, and then you'll be <coughs> able to download sunbonnet zoo from there. Uh, Sunbonnet Sue isn't copyrighted and, Sue actu and Laura actually explains the um, history of Sunbonnet Sue. She's actually doing a tutorial <coughs> and I've done a little bit of a tutorial just to show what you need to do to put it down successfully. Uh, well, thank you for joining me. That's block two. Enjoy. Once you have decided what fabrics you're going to use and you've cut out all your pieces from the pattern, that's the arm and the hand and that's the skirt, once you've decided then you must cut it, um, this is iron on interfacing. One side is smooth, the other side is bubbled, is where all the glue is or sometimes you just get it shiny we want the shiny side or the bubble side glue side down onto your fabric do not press not yet the idea is to sew all around your drawing because you've drawn from your pattern onto your in, um, fusible interfacing then, you're then you've chosen your fabrics then you sew on the line and you do the same with all your pieces this is the hand piece and the arm and as you can see there's a line for the hand and, a, and this side is the arm well you put two fabrics so I've chosen white for my hand and I'm using the same fabric just like an ordinary somebody so for my hat my shoes as well as for my arm so you have to sew them together which is sewn them together quarter of an inch right, sew them together and then open them up and finger press them. And what you do now is you put your arm and your hand goes on the seam. So you've got your hand bit on where the seam meets the white and then pin and then you sew this all the way around um, I've got to say that use a fairly small stitch because you're going to be turning these uh, the, uh, through the other side and they need to be quite small and it's easier to get round curves if you've got a smaller stitch in a curve as best as possible because you don't want any points. I go and go back. Right, so that's it sewn all the way around. Then you get your scissors and cut about an eighth of an inch. In fact it's best if you use pinking shears. Use pinking shears to cut. 
hook right next to but not through your stitches That way the fabric will lay a bit better because it's been pinked on the other side. So once you've done that, put threads, make a little gap, make a little, pull it away because you don't want to cut through your through your fabric of your dress. Make a little slit. Do a small one, you don't want it too big. And then very gently, very gently, it takes a little bit of time to try and be, so you don't rip your interfacing anymore. Just pull your fabric through from the other side. This might take some time, so we'll come back. So, as you can see, um, I pulled it all the way through, and you have to be careful not to make. Um, the, any slits next to your seams because when you fold, look the other way then it's completely and obviously the, the glue side is now this side so if you put it on another piece of fabric and press and you know it's going to stick and you'll be able to applique it on your chosen fabric but that's the arm and the hand and you have to do the rest the same with everything else uh, put your skirt pin it on uh, sorry, this is the hat. Sorry, this is the hat section. And then sew on the line of all yours. And once you've sewn it on all the way, use your pinking shears and go next to all your stitches all the way around. Again, pull your fabric and your interfacing apart. Do a clip. And then do a small line in the centre and then very gently pull your fabric through. And do the same with all the others. This is the boot and the boot is slightly different as you leave the top open so you don't have to cut the interfacing. You can turn it inside out. So very gently pull that through and that's the boot done. So that's my sunbonnet sew all sewn up and pulled through to the other side and that's the colours I've chosen to do. Um, in the book that I, I have there's a picture of a kite and a fish. I'm going to be having it that she's flying a kite so her arm might actually be further out. Once you've got the actual figure you can do whatever you want with them. So mine will be, her arm will be further over so she'll be hide, holding a kite. Um, I could sit her on the ground so she'll be, if I put the boot over that side uh, then it looks as if she's sitting down and her foot's pointing up. Um, you can have a running and then make two of these and put another one. Uh, usually there's a boy also um, and there's the boy look um, flying the kite in the picture of this one so I'll just give you a few ideas just use your imagination there's one looking at a butterfly and there's a boy fishing so yeah my son when it's so it's going to be um, set, holding a kite so I drew a picture of the kite on the smooth side of the interfacing and we're going to put the glue side on top of the fabric. Now there's a butterfly there, I'm going to try and get that in the centre of my kite, which is roughly about there. Pin it on and then sew on the line and do exactly the same as what you did with someone it sewed. So once you've decided how you want it to stand or if you want anything in the picture you don't have to have anything in um, then you need to put her down like that uh, boot first then the dress then the bonnet and then the arm on top now 
you could do it step by step where you could just do the once you get take everything off and then just press that down and then stitch round it which entirely you can do a, a zigzag a blanket stitch a straight stitch any stitch you want to put that on or you can place her as she is make sure none of the interfacing is showing and then just press all together now I'm not going to press the hand so I want to keep that off because I want I want to pull that back and for the string to be sewn to go up to the kite underneath the hand so I've got to very carefully not touch the hand so take it off you don't want to steam it unless your interfacing says to steam very gently without moving anything just what you want to do at the minute is just place it just to make sure you're placing it all in the right place careful not to touch the hand because I want to turn it up I'm going to put some steam on it now and there you go it's as quick as that someone it's so now is my kite does my kite look right do I want it facing that way do I want it facing that way I think I want it pulling away from her and then underneath just curling the string up so we'll have a look at that in a moment there you go I think I like that not too far above the hat now the reason I've got a block that isn't actually sized yet is because um, as long as I've got enough to go at least 10 or 11 inches I don't know what size block I want yet so I'm just leaving it at that and then I'll just, I shall uh, square my block off later once I've decided what size and then there's the kite Oops. there you go once you've done this if you're not happy with anything then you'll have to start all over again once you've got to this stage so I've left my arm up so I can sew the string and then I shall applique, uh, press that down and then applique around the whole thing okay uh, as you can see I did it in I drew it out first in red pen well red it's the, one of the friction pens and then I did it in black on the top to the center of the kite and now I need to steam it uh, to press it down the arm because that's now in the right place and at the same time that will take out the colour of the friction pen just leave it on top and don't move it until it uh, sticks and the same back on the kite again there you go and now I need to sew mine all the way around I like to actually zigzag mine in white but you can do whatever fancy stitch you wish. 